Whether it's for sweet or savoury, British consumers are getting a real taste for baked goods. The number of visits to a food service in which a bakery item was bought has gone up three years running. Gales Bakery has seen this firsthand. It opened its first store in London's Hampstead High Street in 2005 and now has more than 50 stores across the country. Well, I can tell you our like-for-likes are quite high, so um, they're 7 plus percent year-on-year year, probably the last four or five years. I think that has a lot to do with how innovation is um, in, in a bakery scene is easy to do. Bakeries are outperforming the UK's wider eat-out market, which has been struggling recently. Last year, it saw growth of just 0.3%. The um, total food and beverage market is, is flat, and um, you know we're seeing a lot of, lot of issues there with um, consumer confidence down because of the economic situation, um, and you know wage growth as well slightly under pressure. But um, bakery is actually outperforming the total market, and. Um, it's, it's one of the faster growing elements of the market at the moment. For Britain's largest bakery chain, Greggs, adapting to consumer trends has been a successful strategy. The company reported a 13.5% rise in sales in 2019. As well as introducing a click and collect service, Greggs has also launched a whole host of vegan products, including a steak bake and donuts. This vegan sausage roll is now among one of its top 10 best-selling products. I come here because it's not too expensive and they have vegan options because as a vegan it's hard to find stuff. Good prices, hot food, um, probably best value for money on the high street. They always have nice food and if there isn't something that you want then they always have something else you can have instead. Providing choice is another factor driving sales. Bakeries cater for all types of meals, provide on-the-go food or a place to eat in. And this seems to be hitting the spot for British customers. Natalie Powell, TRT World, London.